All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Zablewski back at it again. Except this is not an ordinary video like you've seen me playing PUBG, me playing Rainbow Six Siege, me playing blah, 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 blah. I am here to show you that I am the best of the best in Magic the Gathering Arena. I am obviously Gold Nova 60,000 number negative one. I am the best player in the whole world. Season ends in two days, so we'll see what next season brings us. But I'm bringing you a pack opening. So we're going to go through 34 packs and see what we can scavenge. Scavenge? Scavenge? And, uh, and make work. So we're going to start with the... We're just going to... Ravnica. Open. Let's see, color, glamour, shaman. No. I'm looking for dragons. Red dragons are what I need. Uh, okay, Act of Treason is alright. I don't use it much anymore in this current deck that I'm running. Uh, which I I'll show you guys at the end of end of this video, but I'm really looking for some red, just pure red dragons. It's really what I need to to make this deck that I have right now absolutely killer. Okay, I can work most of all of these cards into. A certain deck but we'll just have to see we're gonna stick with the Ravnica's we're just gonna go through cat beast giant shaman one one ah I don't know what that means <laughs> let's keep going let's keep going Goblin gather and create a number of three. No, no. Number of one, one red goblins. Creature t equal to two plus the number of cards named goblin gathering in your. No. 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 Get that shit out of here. All right. We're going to switch it over. We're going to go to a uh, Guilds of Ravnica. See what else we can get. Oh, some more goblins. That's fun. Uh, I don't like it. You know what I wish they would do is make uh, foils. Like foil cards in this. Because I spend a lot of my wild cards and stuff like that on that. What's this? Zombie lizard. Sacrifice in the future. Till the end of turn. Okay, this wouldn't be bad. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's do a course at 2019. I've had a lot of luck with these core sets. Not core set, but core sets. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good card because... I've been playing against a lot of these. Uh, it's either the red with that 6-6, six, six, whatever it's called, where whenever it attacks, it draws from your deck until it gets a creature and then takes that creature and, and, and casts it to their side of the battlefield. Or the blue decks that have like the wall of blah, blah, blah. They're the O4s. And then they have sorceries or artifacts that can... Uh, artifacts that make you draw so it's definitely it's it's the deck is just made to not beat the person but make them draw as many cards as they can until they have zero cards to draw and then beat them because you can't draw from an empty deck so i mean i may be able to work that into a deck i like this i think i have one of these i could definitely work that into my sarkon uh, Sarkon deck since it's three colorless mana. Um, 
I have one of these. I actually searched it and crafted it with a rare wild card, and I regretted that right away. But we're going back to the Ravnica Allegiance. Still no red dragons. Okay. Let's go Guilds of Ravnica. the problem with this deck that I'm building right now right now the the dragon dragon library on on file for uh you may cast spells that's 10 mana to use though that's like late game that you're not really going to be able to use ever that would be cool it was a little bit lower in mana Anything red? Ooh, rare wild card, okay. A lot of goblins. A lot of goblins. Banefire's alright. I don't use it in a deck. I could. Instead of like the two mana lightning strikes, which deal three damage to a certain target, I could use that. Since my deck is definitely built to help the the stronger uh, the stronger creatures that I have in the deck, um, we can see what I could do with that bane fire. Because I have a couple bane fires that I could throw in. Uh, creature elemental. All right. This this is the card that they use with that 04 wall uh, defender creature because when the 04 enters the battlefield, you draw two cards. No, you you discard two cards from your library, and then with this, you do the four with a tap. It it hurts. It hurts. Especially when I was playing in a, in a Johnny's Pride Mate and a Johnny's Welcome uh, in a deck where I was trying to get in a Johnny to be as strong as I could. And I'd have 40 health and they'd have like 10 health, but I just couldn't beat them because I ran out of cards. Uh, let's see. I don't like that. Catalyst Elemental. I think I bought four of these. Not bought them, but used my uh, rare... <clears throat> no, my wild cards to get that. Honestly, this hasn't been that much fun. So, uh, not sure if we're going to be able to... Do any of these in the future? I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling this. Not getting what I need. These are always helpful. Ooh, mythic rare. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Watch this. So after after this, I'm gonna use that mythic rare wild card to get another. Sarkhan's Welcome, not Sarkhan's Welcome, Sarkhan Unbroken, whatever it is, and uh, and put that into my deck, and I'll play a match real quick, just to show you that I'm the best in the whole goddamn world. Okay. Mardar's Axe. Okay. Let's finish up these corsets. Goblin. Those are always helpful in green decks. Especially if you have a uh, Prodigious Growth with it. That definitely helps. Um, okay. Ooh. 
This could come in handy when I'm playing against those, uh, like a green deck. That's just building up with so many giant creatures. Mm. Can't really use it. Let me correct myself. I can't use it for the deck I'm building right now. That's all I had. That was 34 packs. Let's go to my deck. Sarkhan's Plane Walker. Sarkhan Dra Dragon Soul is the one. Um, and let me craft. So now I have two of these. I could probably use an extra Lathless Dragon Queen in, in case I get into a fight where um, I get Lathless uh, used, passed through too much. So now we have two Sarkhan Dragon Souls. Three Lathless, and yeah, I don't have much to defend on the smaller levels. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these two Swab Goblins, and I'm gonna bring back that uh, whatever that Sarkhan's. No, not Sarkhan's. What was that? What did I just take out? Where was that? Is it two mana red? Cargon Dragon Rider. And then... I'll get rid of an Arcane Encyclopedia. I'm only running 25 mana on this, which has been kind of fucking me, uh, depending on the match. But let's get it in... Uh, save and exit. Let me go double check that real quick. Because I run into the problem of not having enough mana and not being able to spawn or uh, cast these Sarkhan Dragon Souls Lathless and then all the dragons that go along with it. But, here, one more time. I'll go ahead. To fix that, I've put in four Catalyst Elementals. So if I have three mana, if I have four mana, which usually you can draw three top decking into your into your starting hand, then I can have a catalyst elemental to spawn, to create, to, to cast Sarkhan Dragon Soul, then use the deals one damage to each opponent. And in uh, in effect with that, I have Sarkhan's Whelps. I have four of these. To help, so if I have four Sarkhan's Whelps, and I use the Sarkhan Dragon Soul, I can just deal five damage to someone, to a, to a, a creature. So that's definitely helpful in those situations. But I usually don't draw. Uh, what is it? Four Sarkhan's Whelps. So we'll see what we can do here. But. It's to Jimmy. See what you got, Jimmy. Two lightning strikes. My two only lightning strikes that I don't need in here. That's what I start with. Yep. Now here's an actual tip. Here's a tip. So I'm gonna cat. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this second land on. And as soon as I do, I start hitting next. Just next, 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 because I don't want to use these yet, and I don't want him to know that I have a spell like this. Since I'm a red deck, he can definitely he can definitely pick that apart and see what I'm doing. See that I have th certain things going on on my deck, but I will use one now to get rid of that defender. He's going to attack with that. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. So, I'm 
gonna do lightning strike to this one just to kind of buy me some time this is the thought process of a professional Magic the Gathering player. And I'm letting you in on this. So he's going to cast something, but he can't attack it. Okay. Interesting. So I didn't get the land that I needed, but I'm going to cast this. Just so I have it in reference for my next turn that I'm going to get a land. What is this? Okay. Worst case scenario right there. gonna over overcome this all right he's gonna have a plus something something to fuck me here look at that I can see him doing it what okay really helping I'm gonna attack with that and just withstand this this four damage that comes in so that'll put me at 11 but I'm gonna draw two mana in the next two turns my next turn I'm gonna use demanding dragon to get rid of one of these two twos and have a 5-5 five, five to defend with. Okay. It's going to change up the game a little bit. And I get another Sarkhan as well. Attack with that just so I can get a little bit of damage in. And he's going to destroy that one. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's GG. 2, 4, 6, 5. That's 11. Hey, you know, you can't win them all. That's all I'm going to say. So all I'm going to say is you can't win them all, and I'm um, still the best in the whole world. I've never been beaten, so stay tuned for more videos like this, and uh, yeah.